guys happy new year it's 2024 can you believe it look who i have today i have shanna she is the replica maddie sculpt um i purchased her from timu i believe or amazon <laughs> i can't remember you know what my collection of replicas have been growing quite a lot <laughs> And they are either from AliExpress, Timu, or Amazon. Now, Shanda here is my third Maddie sculpt. Um, the very first one I opened, she was an AA baby. Beautiful. But she was a bit smaller than this one here. I think it was like only a 20 inch. This one here is a 24. I do have a video uh, comparing the two. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a card or in the description. And then the second Maddie I received um, was full vinyl and really small. And I'm like, this is not what I expected the description was wrong so oh and it was from timu i remember that because um the return was free uh no questions asked um i sent the doll back i printed off a return label so it was free to send back and um yeah it was really easy to get a refund this is my third Maddie, and I love her so much. She has painted hair, and I did not reweight her or anything yet. So she has some manufactured um, pre-painted hair, but I still love her so much. I'm wondering if I should pierce her ears. I think I'd really like to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... My sons were here for a week for Christmas, so, and Jeremy had a cat, and I'm, my, well, myself and my fiancé, Francis, were allergic to cats. <coughs> so, I was cleaning up a little bit, but I'm going to have to do some more cleaning. In the meantime, my allergies are acting up, but, so I apologize if my voice sounds funny or anything. I just want to quickly try to be here for you guys to tell you how my 2024 collection is going to look like and how it is evolving, which it really is. Um, I am going to talk about authentic versus replica. And I know it's a huge controversy. And after watching Lexi's video... <laughs> She is hey there spooky face. Um, all you have to do is Google her. I can link her video down below. I'm sure though that so many people have watched it already because she has like five thousand views on it. Although I'm pretty sure three of them are from me. <laughs> um, I agreed. I listened to her video and it was exactly what I have been thinking about about the topic for a long time, for a very long time. Um, but background before all of this, for many of you who haven't been in the hobby for many, many years, I just want to say that I started this journey in 2015. Now back then, I remember, um, like we've always had issues the rebound community has always had controversial issues and debates and <laughs> fighting. But the thing about me is that I never ever did a response video. I am now. <laughs> um, one of the things too, though, I promised myself that I would not talk about any huge drama stuff on my channel because I know that many kids watch me. Um, I'm a teacher. I teach, um, I have been teaching since 2001. So, and in our, this particular community since 2002. So a lot of people know me and a lot of people know about my channel. I mean, I, 
I have videos of me at the school with reborn reactions. So they know about my channel. They know I have many kids that watch me, even kids who aren't my students. I know that they watch me. Um, I'm always kind, inclusive to everyone. So um, if... <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> There's so many things to say. Um, okay, let's go back to near the beginning. Uh, years ago, there were little, little words, little comments here and there about certain reborn habits in the community. Like, for instance, for example, I remember hearing, oh, people with a large collection are just hoarders and dirty because they don't know how to keep things clean and how can they have a huge giant collection like that like aren't they just cluttering up their house stuff like that and you know what I am a large collector I have over 100 authentic reborn dolls in my collection and I have and my replica collection is growing large too and i always have the room i always have a plan i don't have them all in one room i do a rotation basis i mean i've been a kindergarten teacher and nursery teacher and i am used to having themed months or like themed <laughs> uh, so i wish i could just let you in my head because sometimes i think so fast and my words don't come out <laughs> properly so, yeah this is why I should write things down and I'm trying to do this without too much hesitation um where was I going with this I always had a car seat as over there on the couch right now and I change out a baby about every week maybe every couple of months or a month, depending, but I call it the star of the car seat. And I've been doing this for many, many years. I just rotate the babies. Now I do have a certain handful of babies that will stay out. They will never be put away. Um, they're always out in my collection. Also, I collect both alternative and normal dolls, baby dolls. Um, I remember even back when people who collect alternative reborns are just like mentally unstable and because they like horror and why they like horror so much and they're ugly, they're awful, they're the devil and blah blah blah. It's like, <laughs> what? Just because I like zombie dolls or death dolls, ghost dolls, so <laughs> that's my choice. I do like them. And in fact, I have so many in my collection that you haven't seen hardly at all. Um, I showed Riddick a few times. He's my zombie baby. I have a vampire baby. I have a ghost baby. I have a mummy reborn, which I don't think I've even shown maybe once when I opened it on my channel. I got so much hate for that baby. Hmm. I have fairies. I There's a couple of fairies up on my shelf right there. I have a silicone Ashen Drake fairy. Oh, her dress lights up. It's so pretty. She's got the elf ears, fairy ears. I have a couple behind her even, the smaller 10-inch babies. I have pixies. I have a monkey. I have a dog. <laughs> and bringing back Lexi's video. The one thing that she said in that video that I completely understood was that she was saying that there are other people who commented saying um, real collectors don't buy replicas. They just don't. A real collector doesn't. And Lexi said actually real collectors want it all. And you know what? That's me. That, that is why I bought a replica in the first place. Um, there was a time when I wanted to say, stand for authentic only and support the artists and support the industry. But then all of these rumors about them were coming out, like saying how these dolls, 
stink. Now, there's a video on me that's still up that's saying something about I'm trying to sniff out for toxic toxins. <laughs> you can't smell toxins, and I know that, and I thought that they knew that. <laughs> but, um, I was, I was smelling him because I heard the rumor. So many people were saying this, not just one person, two people. Lots of people were saying that if you buy these dolls, they stink like metal or like chemicals or like, you know, that they stink. And I was really curious. I wanted to see. And for the price, it was so inexpensive compared to real authentic reborns. So I bought one and I opened it on my channel and I did smell it and it does not stink like chemicals. In fact, I said that they smell like just like normal plastic, like a baby life. <laughs> so, but there's so many videos like making fun of me in particular. Um, I've watched certain lives saying that I'm a psycho. Okay. And I'm toxic. I mean, maybe I am in their eyes, but I'm not toxic to people who actually know me and who know the truth. <sighs> there are so many personalities in this hobby that I won't, I won't get along with. But I don't make fun of anyone. I never make fun of someone else's differences. I mean, if you want to support Authentic Only, that's great. I support you in your decision. This is my decision. I, like Lexi said, a true collector wants it all. <laughs> I do. I love. Like when she said, um, she said something about, um, oh, you want to see this sculpt? I have it authentic and the replica you want to see something else i have it i have it in all kinds of versions i have uh different artists i <laughs> and yes that that is my intent years ago when i got into this hobby i did i got addicted you know what i got addicted to i got addicted to the differences in the artist's uh way i wanted belly plates and I've done videos about this before. I've said I wanted bald babies. I want rooted babies. I want painted hair babies. I want combi hair babies. And guess what? I got them. I did get them all. And then I got my first replica because I wanted to see if the rumors were true. And they're not true. A lot of the bad mouthing about the fakes or the replicas, they're not true. Um, and in fact, they're getting better and better in quality. And like, I'm even blown away. The best company I've come across is the NPK Dolls. Is is a really good company. But another one is the BZ Dolls. That's the other one that I was getting stuck in my head. See, I think so fast that sometimes the words just can't keep up with my head. <laughs> so um oh my goodness see and then i'm rambling how long is this already <laughs> um but it's true oh i remember i was thinking about um just getting that one replica to see i was blown away by the quality and especially the price that came with it like wow and then came Little Wild Nursery's videos explaining the business side of it. And it made me wonder, like, it made me question a lot of things. And I mean, sure, they might be true, they might not be true. But I came in conclusion in my own mind, um, which I'm not going to say because uh, publicly, because it could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. But the thing that I did see in, with my own eyes and I read and heard how sculptors were belittling others, um, making fun of others, making up lies about others. And I'm thinking, 
Why am I supporting you so hard? <laughs> Why? I mean, the very, very first time I was tagged saying that I was a bully was back years ago. Um, Spring Flower opened up a, a Maddie on her channel. And I didn't even see that video. Okay, I saw the video after that and I did leave a comment. Oh, and I remember this too. Um, I, she was, Spring in her video was talking about how people were bullying her and being mean to her and saying rude things about her, saying that she's a, like, you know, an ugly monster and blah, blah, blah. And I commented about um if they think that we're monsters then let them think that we're monsters okay and we'll be the prettiest monsters out there then and all of a sudden i got an inbox from a friend she's not a friend anymore like she used to be but i got an inbox and she was saying oh the you know the top people they they said that you called them a monster i said i didn't call anyone a monster it, i called myself a monster like what are you talking about and she's like yeah but they're all upset now and they're saying this about you and blah 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 and i'm like but they're wrong and i and then she went back my friend at the time went back reread my comment to spring and she said, you're right, you didn't call them monsters. And I'm like, I know that. I said, they probably read it so fast that they didn't. And then, <sighs> because we all know that when you're angry and heated, you don't, you don't think, you don't read properly. And they probably read it so fast and so angry. You're calling us monsters. And it's like, no, I wasn't calling them monsters at all. <sighs> So, and there was a lot of that. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you ugh, the rumors behind the scenes was getting really unreal. Like screenshots and oh, look at this, look at that. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, what? It got to be really tiring. It got to be really exasperating. I, so I'm not a drama person at all on my channel. I mean, on my Instagram, I did a few funny memes here and there because I just needed to get some of my frustrations out there. And, um, but I was getting tired of all the he said, she said, blah, 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 blah. It's not me. It's not my personality. Um, so I stepped away from all of that, um, so where am I heading for the new 2024 20, year? My replica collection is already growing. It's a lot. And I'm going to have to slow down. <laughs> but I love all these dolls. And I love the hobby. I love seeing. You know what? Years ago, authentic wise, I used to want to know like, okay, I want a belly plate. I want a full vinyl baby. I want a, I want a bald baby. Blah blah blah. I want different artists. You know what it's become now? I want to see how the different companies make their dolls. And so I have uh, all these. Uh, what's that? How come I can't think of that one? MPK. See, I have to visualize it in my head. Like, the MPK dolls is my favorite. If I want to spend my money and get a good doll that I know, like the vein, like I even check out how the company does their veins and stuff. Now, BZ Dolls, um, they're a good company too. They make the sizes really good, but they're not that great in the painting. Um, and then there's some companies that have, like, do, does a rooting. And they're really good too. So now it's to the point where I'm trying out different companies. Um, I buy both the kit and the completed doll. Um, I've done that. I also own Ash and Drake's. I own uh, Paradise Galleries. Now that I can 
buy them. Years ago, I couldn't get a Paradise Gallery doll without paying an arm and a leg for one because I live in Northern Canada, but now, thanks to Amazon, it's a lot easier to get a Paradise doll. But yeah, it's... This new year, I am going to showcase my replicas, love on my replicas, because what well, Lexi also said, you go with the flow. A true business person is business, and they go with the flow. Um, I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I do earn money from YouTube. I do get views on YouTube. And... Um, I admit that I do want to go with the flow. And I remember years ago, people would always say, what do you want to see? What do you want to see? Oh, I want to see outing videos. I want to see changing videos. Well, you know what it is now? I want to see your replica videos. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going with the flow um, business-wise. And besides, I love this. I love collecting all these different things. I believe I am a true collector because I do want it all I do so that's <laughs> all I can say of that I hope that you guys are doing well thank you so much for being here I'm sorry if I ramble on that's just me um I do have many years of videos uh new year's videos where I come to conclusions because I remember years ago I used to feel upset that I was a large collector because the ideal collector had a small collection and they could concentrate on only one or two babies instead of like how can you be a true collector if you if you have so many dolls like do you uh, do you even have the time to spend with all these dolls and how can you do that and blah 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 or what else oh i remember a big thing about using bins don't a real collector won't use bins for their hobby items it's like what i have bins i have bins <laughs> i think a bin is a better than a box <laughs> but anyways yeah um this new year again i'm not worrying about what how other people's perspectives and i respect other people's perspectives on their hobby if you want a small collection sure go for it like i said in the videos before if you want to not have bins in your collection then don't have bins this is how i like it this is how i want to be and i don't want to be afraid anymore to show you what i have and tell you how i believe but anyways, I shall go for now. Have a happy new year. Love you guys. Take care. Till next time.